In this chapter, Ian is building Mando's grappling hook garden. Welcome to Chapter 6 of the Mandalorian series. Over the last month, Hacksmith Industries has been piecing together our very own Mandalorian suit. In Chapters 1 to 5, we put together the flamethrower, the blaster and spear, the helmet, the baby Yoda cradle, and the jetpack, all leading up to an epic finale where James will don the suit for the very first time and put it to the ultimate test. You definitely don't want to miss it. James has moved on to the most intensive part of the build, the armor. It's a huge undertaking that's going to take a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So in the meantime, Caleb has been working behind the scenes on the rifle. And Jeff has focused on the MSE-6, also known as the Mouse Droid. Because why not? That video is available early, as in right now, exclusively to members. If you're not yet a member and would like early access to that video and all of our future videos, click the link below. We saw a lot of you asking about this t-shirt in the comments. So we've released a limited edition Hacklorian t-shirt. Visit hacksmith.store to get yours before they're all gone. Okay, Mando has no shortage of awesome accessories. The grapple gun is one of the less flashy tools in his arsenal, but its practicality and versatility make it a valuable asset. He can use it to ascend to heights above, or like a lasso, tangling up a bounty and reeling it in. Back in the earlier days of this channel, we made a lot of Batman gadgets. I'm Batman. And one in particular that Ian built is going to come in very handy. This is the Batman Grappler that I made a few years ago. To this day, it's still one of my favorite projects, and we did some pretty awesome stuff with it. A lot has happened since then. One of our interns, JT, actually made his own version, which was smaller and more powerful. So I'm gonna take the best parts of my design, combine it with the best parts of JT's design, put it all together, and make the ultimate Mandalorian Grappler. This build is broken up into five main components. The motor, speed controller, gearbox, launcher, and winch. First, we have the motor and speed controller. We actually partnered with MGM to turn the power of this project up to 11. And honestly, I think we went too far. MGM hooked us up with this custom wound motor and this beast of a speed controller. To put this in perspective, this system is as powerful as my motorcycle, and it's going to be mounted on my arm. What, what could possibly go wrong? When you cheap out on speed controllers, something like this happens. And I really don't want that to happen while I'm hanging from a nylon cord. That's why I'm using the best of the best. This is the TMM 25063. It's from MGM's industrial line of controllers. We've used MGM controllers in the past and they're incredible. Next, we have the gearbox. I'll be borrowing from JT's design and use the exact same one. This is an off the shelf planetary gearbox designed for first robotics. It's basically the same kind of thing that you'd find in an electric drill. It comes with a bunch of data sheets with fancy graphs and torque data, and on paper, it should work. But honestly, I have a hard time believing that this motor won't rip to pieces. Next, we have the launcher. I'm going to reuse my design, which also happens to be the same mechanism as my Apex Legends launcher. Lastly, we have the winch. JT used a spool, whereas my Batman Grappler used a custom designed mechanism. A spool is nice and simple, which is great for reliability but the length of the rope is limited to the size of the spool. My mechanism doesn't have that issue because any rope that gets pulled in gets spit out again, meaning that there's no limit to the length of the rope. I'm gonna take my Batman design and miniaturize it. Let me show you how it's all gonna to fit together. As you know, I buy a lot of stuff. But sometimes the buying process kills my zen. Luckily, I can shop with ease and find some balance in my life by shopping with Zen. What are you doing? I've found my Zen. It's a shopping card connected with an app made to bring Zen to online shopping through Zenefits. Zenefits include instant cash back up to 15% on partner sites like AliExpress, Booking.com, and even Banggood. 
There's an automatic one-year extended warranty on electronics, zero fees when you're shopping online, and Zencare to protect your purchases. Zen service is available in the EU, but more countries soon. Find your Zen today by clicking on the link in the description below. All right, Mando's Grappler, what do we got here? Well, for starters, we got a motor in the gearbox. Check that thing out. That is ridiculous. How, how powerful is this motor? 40 kilowatts. That's over 50 horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna rip off my arm. That one's actually slightly less than uh, 40 kilowatts. Uh, we got a, different, a custom winding, so it's more torque and less overall power. Still, it's a lot of power on and my this, arm. And uh, this beast of a controller to control it. That so is that's, huge. That's actually where JT's design ended up failing, is he burnt out his speed controller oh, in his final right. test. Yeah, so MGM hooked us up. It's gonna be, it's gonna work. <laughs> Damn, all right, let's take a look at the design. When I was modeling it initially, I was like, okay, we need a handle, it's gonna strap onto your arm, that sort of thing. But um, since we've been talking, you wanna make it more Mandalorian themed, so. Um, yeah, I think we wanna use the same kind of like metal shrouding around my arm. Yeah. So I think we should make it a bit bigger because that was pretty tight on my arm. Yeah. But I do like the idea of having something I can hold really strongly. Moving on, we can see the spool design. So this is similar to what we have in the Batman Grappler. But yeah, it looks familiar. Miniaturized, and I'm, I'm gonna modify this a bit more to make it even smaller. Any rope that it sucks in, it will also spit out. I can grapple for infinite distances. Yeah, that is, <laughs> as long as we can buy a, a rope. What will the actual grappler launch it? Where's that going? So once I compact the, the winch mechanism a little bit more, I'll just kind of stick it in the side here. Okay. <laughs> and to control it, we have this little thumb wheel. So initially I was thinking, yeah, move, it sits into the handle and you can uh, control up and down. I've, I've never seen one of those before, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, Bogdan picked that out on DigiKey. Do I want to know how much this cost? Yeah, it's like $100. <laughs> $100 for a switch this big? Yeah. <laughs> but it feels real nice. It does. <laughs> well, it looks like you got your work cut out for you. Yeah, I'm uh, starting to realize that I'm behind on this project. <laughs> All right, get to it. I got my two stainless pieces and they're ready to be formed into the gauntlet. I think I'm almost halfway there. All right, so I've mangled this piece, so I'm gonna cut a new one at a thinner stainless and try again. All right, take two. Oh, it's so much easier. What's the thickness box to go? 16 gauge. That was a single bend instead of like 16. Pretty close. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I actually don't know how to TIG weld, so I'm gonna hand this off to James and I'm gonna go do some machining. I 
damage is red, so that's good. Fun part. It's pretty spot on. It might be 550, so the cord might actually be a little larger. I just gotta quickly laser cut the grappling hook. All right, now that I have the laser cut grappling hooks, this just needs to be welded on. That was the last part, so now I get to start with the assembly. Ian gave me the job of making the wires to connect the motor to the speed controller. Since the speed controller is in the jetpack, I need to make some fairly long wires. Let's get started. See the full circuit diagram? Make sure to check out the maker.io link down in the description. So I can machine most of these parts in-house, which is great, but this part right here, beyond my capabilities. So I'm gonna take the easy route and get Proto Labs to 3D print it for me. Proto Labs offers quick turnaround digital manufacturing services. They specialize in 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding, and sheet metal fabrication processes. Okay, so let's get an instant quote. I'm gonna choose 3D printing, upload my parts, go with stainless steel 16L, because that's what we're using for the rest of the project. Choose my configuration and check out. Great, that should be here in two to three days. Let's see how Proto Labs actually makes the part. I've got all my parts ready and this fancy Hacklorian shirt, hacksmith.store. So let's hop into assembly. We'll start with the gearbox. Cool thing about this gearbox is that it's modular. I'm going to go with a one to nine gear ratio. That means that when the motor spins nine times, the end will spin once. Low speed, high torque. This is the motor to gearbox adapter slides on here and bolts onto the motor, and then we can bolt it onto gearbox. Now we get to assemble the winch. The next step is tricky because I need to put a bunch of pieces in at the same time. And it's actually easier to assemble this with the rope on it. So the rope winds around these grooves 
And when you drive the motor, it turns this piece, it sucks in rope from here and spits it out the other end. And there's enough friction in there that it doesn't slip. Get the bearings in place, which pinches the rope to the mechanism. Make sure that it stays tight. There's just the top plate that holds everything in place and guides the rope through. It's also designed in a hex right there so I can put an Allen key in and rotate it manually. As you can see, it is sucking in the rope and spitting it out the other end. All right, great, let's head over to the bench. Time for the first test. I'm excited, but also nervous. So what I want to figure out here is make sure it can lift a person. So I, I've got a weight set up here. It will lift it up, set it back down, and then we'll add weights and verify that it can continue doing that. Here goes. Success. Let's go faster. All right, 70 pounds, here we go. Let's go straight to 200. Two hundred pounds. Here we go. Poof. All right, the rope broke a little sooner than I was hoping, but we'll get a stronger rope and uh, try this again. Here's another test. Here we go. Two hundred pounds. Uh, yeah, it kind of seems like it jammed. One of the planetary gears seized up. Uh, fortunately, I bought spares. Here you go. Here goes. We've increased the speed. We've got a dummy across the shop. I'm going to drag him to myself. Here goes. That was awesome, but I'm gonna make sure that this thing wasn't damaged because it hit it pretty hard. So let's see what happens next. The winch works great, so let's try out the launcher. It's basically the Apex Legends launcher, so it should work fine. I also have a rope. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one. I would call that a success, so let's put it all together and get it working. Gauntlet's looking great with the launcher welded on there. So next step is to put the winch on here. is going to get these, getting these wires to this little hole in the back. So I think I'm going to need some tweezers.
I've got this nice little power pack, and normally this goes inside of the jet pack, but it's removable so I can test this without wearing the big jet pack. So I just need to pair these things together and we'll be ready to test. Loading. Three, two, one. Yes. Yeah. All right, gonna try to wrap it around your legs. There we go. That was awesome. It can grapple, but can it winch? Let's hook up the speed controller and try it out. All right, now it's my turn. Hey, Ian, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> <laughs> All right, what else can we do? Go oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> That was scary. <laughs> Turns out, this is the way. <laughs> oh, that's so fast. <laughs> if Ian ever comes down, we can add one more gadget to our expanding arsenal for this project. Until then, in chapter seven, Caleb will be back with the rifle and mouse droid. That video is available right now to members. Of course, if you're not already a member and just can't get enough of our Mandalorian series, Click the link below to become a member today and revel in all that early access glory getting to see our videos before anyone else. This is the way.